同学，大家好，我是宏光科技大学应用英语系蒋小珍，欢迎收看今天的英文翻译二第十六讲播出。上次我们谈了主动与被动句法，今天要谈分句、合句与拆译法。首先，欢迎跟我一块主持节目的王教授。各位同学，大家好，我是东吴大学英文系王安琪。中英句法在表现比较复杂的概念时。会有不同的语法或结构，翻译时就需要分解或拆译。首先来看 Part One Principles of Translation 翻译原理。中文与英文基本句型不尽相同，在表达一些比较复杂的概念的时候，中文呢？有时候偏向使用若干简短句子，逐点交代，前后有序，层层铺叙，词句呢简练。譬如张爱玲的一篇短文《爱》，当中就有这么一段文字：那年他不过十五六岁吧，是春天的晚上，他立在后门口，手扶着桃树。这是中文的散文形式，层层铺叙，逐点来交代。而英文有时偏向使用比较复杂的长句结构，其间夹杂各种从属子句，譬如 that、which 子句，或是用现在分词、过去分词做修饰说明，环环相扣，叠床架屋，用比较逻辑严密的方式表达意义。譬如《China Post》中国邮报有这么一则新闻 ：Fisherman hurled eggs at Japan's de facto embassy in Taipei on Wednesday to protest the seizure of a Taiwanese fishing vessel operating near an atoll in the Pacific Ocean claimed by Japan。渔民舟山弹袭日本台北交流协会，抗议台湾渔船。在近太平洋岛礁海域捕鱼遭扣押，日本宣称该岛礁属其领域。这句英文句子很长，其中的现在分词 operating 是省略了 that 所引导的子句，指的是 a Taiwanese fishing vessel that had been operating 捕鱼的台湾渔船，而过去分词 claimed 则是省略了 which。所引导的子句指的是 an atoll in the Pacific Ocean, which was claimed by Japan. 日本宣称属其领域的岛礁。所以，为了让译文符合译入语的语法习惯，而且能够清楚达意，可以将原文分段、合并或拆散重组。翻译的手段可灵活运用。译文不必依照原文字、词、句的顺序，也不必僵硬地遵循原文语法结构，一样译出。译文可以完全不受原文表达方法和总体结构的约束，利用弹性的结构、灵活的措辞、变化的表达，而不失原意的翻译，才是好的翻译。基本上。句子依照句型有三种翻译法：第一，分句法，将原句分段，以求文字简洁，含义清晰；第二，合句法，将原句短句部分依合理判断且符合译文语法，与另一句合并成一句；第三，拆译法，先分析英文原句，拆分成小单元，再依中文语法习惯。
重新排列组合。让我们看看下面的例子：第一，分句法，将原句分段，以求文字简洁，含义清新。譬如 ，He lay down again and soon fell into a sound sleep。他又重新躺下，不一会儿就沉睡了。原文是一句英文，那我们译成呢两句中文，这就是分句法。以下的例子很类似。The roundness of the wedding ring symbolizes eternity and announces that the couple is unified for life. 婚戒的圆形象征永恒，宣告这对新人永结连理。Human beings' knowledge of nature. Has been a very important aid to dominating the environment. 人类对自然的知识一直很重要，它帮助人类掌控环境。One warm day, some monkeys were playing in the woods where a hunter passed by. 某个温暖的日子，一群猴子在林中玩耍，有个猎人正经过那儿。All those who go to church. Are not saints. 到教堂做礼拜者，并非全是圣徒。The lady to whom you spoke is a well-known scientist. 你对她说话的那妇人是位著名的科学家。Diana always felt shy when she tried talking to Mr. Wang. 当戴安娜试着跟王先生说话时，总是感到害羞。We spent. An entire week on this beautiful island, trying to make international friends and lifelong memories. 我们在这美丽的岛上停留整整一星期，试着结交异国朋友和创造一辈子难忘的回忆。The company has a guideline that all its salesmen must follow when signing contracts. 这家公司有一份指导方针。所有的推销员在签合约时必须遵守。She shook her head, and her eyes were wide, then narrowed in anger. 她摇了摇头，两眼睁大，接着又眯成一条线，露出愤怒的神情。第二种方法是合句法，将原句、短句部分依合理判断，且符合译文语法。与另一句合并成一句，譬如 "Diet pills can affect your muscles, bones, and organs like your heart. They can even cause death." 减肥丸会影响你的肌肉、骨骼、器官，如心脏，甚至可能致命。原文是两句英文，我们译成了一句中文。那么这就是所谓的合句法。以下例子都很类似。To lose weight, some put their faith in exercise, but the problem with exercise is that it only works up an appetite. 为了减肥，有些人相信靠运动，但是运动带来的问题是它会刺激食欲。That is all for today. I'll see you on Friday. 今天到此为止，星期五见。Some cobras bite their victims. They will chew as they bite and inject more venom into the victims. 有些眼镜蛇会咬他们的受害者，在咬的同时也会咀嚼并注入毒液。William Shakespeare was born in 1564, the same year another poet called Christopher Marlowe was born. 威廉莎士比亚出生在一五六四年。同年，另一位诗人名叫克里斯多夫·马楼也出生。Scientific studies have proven that there are many advantages to owning a pet. For instance, pets can alleviate stress. 科学研究证实，饲养宠物优点多，譬如减压。Mr. Zhang, our CEO, was over 60. He had a square-shaped face with a full beard. 我们的总裁张先生六十多岁，方脸，满脸胡子。My elder grandfather was very simple.
His mind was open. 我年迈的祖父为人单纯，思想开放。She left home for twenty years. The word home had meant so much to her. 她离家二十年，家这个字对她来说意味深长。It was half past nine. Molly watched the path anxiously. 已经九点半了，茉莉焦急地望着来路。第三种是猜译法，先分析英文原句，拆分成小单元，再依中文语法习惯重新排列组合。譬如 ，They were extremely surprised to find her still crying there. 他们发现她还在那儿哭泣，感到非常惊讶。我们将英文拆成一、二、三三个小单元，再依中文语法习惯重新排列成一、三、二的顺序来翻译。这就是所谓的拆译法。以下的例子很类似。Exports fell disastrously in the first half of the year 1999。一九九九年上半年出口巨降。造成巨大损失，我们排成三一二。Poverty and growing unemployment are the inevitable outcome of population explosion. 贫穷和与日俱增的失业现象是人口膨胀的必然结果，我们排成一三二。We do not appreciate what we have until we lose it. 直到失去了我们所拥有的，我们才会珍惜它。我们排成三二一。The terrible earthquake has claimed over a thousand lives in this city. 这场恐怖的地震在这个城市已夺走一千多条人命。我们排成一四二三。For example, at work, it is easy. To learn about a coworker's personality during breaks. 举例来说，在工作的休息时间，要了解同事的个性就很容易。我们排成一二五四三。He must have studied hard to have succeeded so splendidly. 他有如此辉煌的成就。一定曾经苦学过。我们排成一四三二。By keeping the party a secret, we meant to surprise Mary. 我们举办秘密派对，用意是要给玛丽一个惊喜。我们排成四一三二五七六。The baseball player did not play today because he had not recovered from his hand injury. 那名棒球选手今天未参赛，因为他的手伤还没复原。我们排成一三二四六五。Melody could have left her cell phone in the cafe she went to. This afternoon, Melody 可能将她的手机遗留在她今天下午去的咖啡馆内。我们排成一三二六五四。从上面的例子，我们可以学到三种翻译的方法，有分句法、合句法和拆译法。翻译时要灵活的运用。接着，我们来看。Part two: Famous quotations, 中外名言 We can also use today's lesson's quotations, quotations, and quotations to translate today's Chinese proverb. In working evils for another, a man works evil for himself. 施害人者。乃及害自己，这是一个分句法。Diseases of the soul are more dangerous than those of the body. 病在心头比病在肉体更危险，这是分句法。
What is done can't be undone. 木已成舟，莫可挽回，这是分句法。A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. 双鸟在林，不如一鸟在手，拆一法。Don't count your chickens before they are hatched. 但未孵化，莫数小鸡，不要过早乐观，这是拆一法。接着我们来看 Part Three。Dialogue, 英文绘画 <音楽>在观看这一段绘画之前，我们先解说绘画当中一些词汇和片语 vocabulary and expressions， 帮助同学了解。The first couple, 第一夫妇，总统夫妇 ，involved in， 牵涉入。Selection, 选拔 cast, 演员阵容 subject to, 取决于以什么为条件 condition, 情况 profit, 获利 survivor, 生还者 the first lady, 第一夫人 green light, 同意 president, 总统 advice, 建议 imitate, 模仿 accent, 口音 crew, 组员 tougher, 更棘手的 obstacle, 障碍 Florida Keys. 佛罗里达礁岛群 ，Cold War， 冷战 ，Less than friendly， 不友好 ，Brush， 小冲突 ，Coast Guard， 海岸巡防队 ，Mistake， 误解 ，Cuban， 古巴人 ，Battle， 战斗 ，Mosquito， 蚊子 ，Summertime， 夏日时光 ，Original， 原来的 ，Skipper， 船长机长 ，Vessel， 船舰 ，Combat。战斗 review 评论 readjust 重新调整 arm in a cast 手臂上石膏 assassinate 刺杀 replace 取代 lead actor 主角 dob date of birth 生日 follow up 混乱 logical 逻辑上 avoid 避免 court martial 军事法庭 manner 方式 ram 猛撞 Inauguration, 就职典礼。今天的绘画中提到拍摄啊一场有关美国甘乃迪总统的电影。According to this, the first couple became involved in the selection of their cast, subject to three conditions: that it had to be historically accurate. That profits go to the boat survivors along with their families, and that they would get the final say on who played the main character. The first lady made a different choice there, and this actor neither looked nor talked like her husband. He had to get the green light from President himself to that nap part, and he was advised not to try imitating the New England accent. The production crew met tougher obstacles. That's beyond question. Filming in Florida Keys during the Cold War meant less than friendly brushes with the Coast Guard, who mistook them for Cubans, as well as battles with mosquitoes while shooting in the summertime, almost a year before its release. It sounds like they faced as many problems as the original skipper did in making his vessel come back ready. As reflected in the critics' reviews, and you yourself were still readjusting after having your arm in a cast for several weeks. That took a little time as well. My brother and I both went on the following Sunday afternoon. It was back in a local theater almost four months later, the same week he was assassinated. I had planned to go see it that night, but it had already been replaced. I've got just one question about the lead actor himself. He's said to have died one day after his 88th birthday. Yet the DOB lay list makes him 86. This wouldn't be the first such foul up. I'm sure there's some logical reason. What's less clear is how the real-life commander avoided a court martial for losing his boat in such a manner, or how he managed to locate the skipper. Who rent his boat after so many years as a guest at his inauguration? 
According to this, the first couple became involved in the selection of their cast, subject to three conditions. That it had to be historically accurate, that profits go to the boat's survivors along with their families, and that they would get the final say on who played the main character. The first lady made a different choice there, and this actor neither looked nor talked like her husband. He had to get a green light from President himself to that nap heart. And he was advised not to try imitating the New England accent. The production crew made tougher obstacles. That's beyond question. Filming in Florida Keys during the Cold War mean less than friendly brushes with the Coast Guard who mistook them for Cubans. As well as battles with mosquitoes while shooting in the summertime, almost a year before its release. It sounds like they faced as many problems as the original skipper did in making his vessel come back ready. As reflected in the critics' reviews, and you yourself were still readjusting after having your arm in a cast for several weeks. That took a little time as well. My brother and I both went on the following Sunday afternoon. It was back in a local theater almost four months later, the same week he was assassinated. I had planned to go see it that night, but it had already been replaced. I've got just one question about the lead actor himself. He's said to have died one day after his 88th birthday, yet the DOB lay list makes him 86? This wouldn't be the first such foul up. I'm sure there's some logical reason. What's less clear is how the real-life commander avoided a court-martial for losing his boat in such a manner. Or how he managed to locate the skipper who rent his boat after so many years as a guest at his inauguration. 好,接着我们从刚才英文绘画里面挑些questions来问同学。Question 1. What are these people discussing? A. Politics. B. Marriage. C. Religion. D. Movie. D. Movie. Question 2. What do we learn about the second speaker? A. He once suffered a fracture. B. He is an ex-military officer. C. He has a photography hobby. D. He is fascinated with firearms. A. He once suffered a fracture. Question 3. What does the first speaker express confusion about? A. The man's memory lapse. B. Her own political beliefs. C. A star's life dates. D. A script abrupt changes. C. A star's life dates. Question 4. How do the speakers characterize the production process? A. Carefree. B. Difficult. C. Amusing. D. Boring. B. Difficult. 来最后呢，我们来看一看 Part Four. Let's practice 句型翻译练习。我们从刚才的英文绘画里挑一些例句出来做句型翻译练习。the first couple became involved in the selection of their cast, subject to three conditions. 根据这个,总统夫妇参与选角工作,并以三种情况为条件。Involve in是牵涉入参与。别把我扯入你们的争吵。Don't involve me in your argument. Don't involve me in your argument. 我们看哪个错。第一个错。Involve, don't, 后面原型。好,另外翻翻看. Your dispute has nothing to do with me. Dispute是争吵,争议的意思。我们希望所有单位都能参与,提示一下,单位叫unit. We want all units to be involved. We want all units to be involving. 我们看哪个错? 对,第二个错, 要用过去分词involved。另外翻翻看 Every unit should take part, we believe. Take part 也是参与的意思。例句, and he was advised not to try imitating the New England accent. 
他被建议不要试着模仿新英格兰口音 ，be advised to 就被建议。我被建议参与今年的研讨会。我们提示一下，研讨会是 seminar。I was advised to attend the seminar this year. I advised to attend the seminar this year. 看哪一个错？第二个错，要被要 I was advised 被动式。另外翻翻看。Someone recommended that I sit in on this year's conference. 哈 ，recommended 也是推荐的意思哈。学生被建议要小心地读完所有的章节。Students were advised to read all the chapters carefully. Students were advising to read all the chapters carefully. 看哪一个错？第二个错，刚刚说过要被动式 ，were advised。好，另外翻翻看 ，learners。Should read the book cover to cover, so they were told. Cover to cover, 从封面到封底，整本书的意思。例句 ：I've got just one question about the lead actor himself. He said to have died one day after his 88th birthday. Yet the DOB they list makes him 86. 我对主角本人有个疑问。据说他在八十八岁。生日之后的那一天去世，但他们所列的出生日期却让他成了八十六岁。Be said to 传言，人们说，人们说这栋宅地闹鬼。提示一下 ，mansion 是宅地，闹鬼是 be haunted。The mansion is said to be haunted. The mansion is said to haunted. 我们看哪个错？第二个错要 to be haunted。另外翻翻看。Rumor has it that ghosts inhabit the big house。好 ，rumor 就是谣言，哈 ，ghost 是鬼的意思。人们说他有音乐家的才能。She is said to have talent as a music. She is said to have talent as a musician. 看哪个错？第一个错 ，music 是音乐，音乐家是 musician。另外翻翻看。People say she shows natural ability in music. Ah, natural ability 就天赋的意思哈。例句 ：What's less clear is how the real-life commander avoided a court martial for losing his boat in such a manner. 比较不那么清楚的是，现实生活中的那位指挥官以那样的方式失去了他的船舰之后。如何还能避免军事法庭的审判？我们看 avoid 避免。我尽量避免在星期日工作。I try to avoid working on Sundays. I try to avoid to work on Sundays. 好，我们看哪个错？同学注意 avoid 这个动词后面要加动名词是 working， 不能 to work。另外翻翻看。I don't toil on Sundays if I can help it. 好 ，toil 就是 work 的意思。报告刻意地避免提及人为疏失。我们提示，刻意地是 studiously， 人为疏失是 human error。The report studious avoided any mention of human error. The report studiously avoided any mention of human error. 哪一个错？第一个错，要用副词 studiously。另外翻翻看。Every effort was made not to cite mistakes. By personnel. 好 ，every effort, 每一个努力。好，我们今天先讲到这里。其实翻译英文句子是很有趣的事情，因为我们刚刚例句看到，原句如果是英文一个句子，把它翻译可以变成两句中文。那么原句有的时候是两句英文，在我们翻的时候把它合并了，成为一句的中文。更有趣的是说，你把一句英文切成好几个小单元，你来玩一下，重新排列组合，再把它翻成一句我们所说的中文的句子哈。这个其实是蛮有趣的，要花点脑筋啦、啊。那我们今天就先谈到这里，下一次我们要谈从句翻译。再见啦，拜拜。